Now, the strike by SARS employees is already taking its toll on other industries. The Lebombo border post is experiencing heavy delays, with reports of trucks queuing for up to four kilometers from the border with Mozambique. Let's get an update now on the situation uh, this morning. We're joined by Solange Suarez Nicholson, who is the communications manager for Trans African Concessions, which manages that very important N4 toll route. Solange, thank you so much for your time this morning. We've seen reports that the Bait Bridge border post one of the busiest in Africa has been hit hard um, as a result of the SARS strike. Uh, can you give us some details as to what the impact has been on the Limbombo uh, border post and indeed the N4 toll route? Uh, yes, well, this morning things have been pretty quiet so far. Uh, but yesterday there was heavy traffic backlogs. Um, five and a half kilometer queues were reported, mostly with trucks um, going through the border post. Um, we had our teams as well as traffic officials on scene in the morning and in the afternoon. Traffic only cleared at around 9 o'clock last night. Um, it, for those of us who have never used this border post, and indeed are never in a way that these trucks have to use those posts over a 24-hour basis, give us an understanding of, of what exactly the process is as they pull up to those gates. What exactly happens and where does the SARS employee come into uh, that process? Well, I can't really speak on behalf of the border post. Uh, we only manage the road to the border post. Um, but it is quite a lengthy process. It is um, all the processing, um, your customs um, processing that has to happen. And it does normally take a bit of time, as you can imagine. And obviously, with the uh, strikes or less staff, it just creates a backlog. And obviously the trucks and other vehicles have no place else to go but to stay on the import toll route until they are processed. Now you're saying that border post was only cleared around 9 p.m. last night on a regular Wednesday or Thursday, as it were. How, uh, what, what is the, the movement like um, on that route in terms of time? Um, well, this morning, like I said, it is, it is quiet. But uh, we need to bear in mind that it is a Friday, it is a month end, and uh, statistically this is a busy time, a busy day of the week for the border post, for our road, uh, especially up to 12 this afternoon. We usually see an influx of traffic. Um, of course, uh, government schools are going back as well next week, so we expect the traffic delay and uh, the traffic to be busier than usual, um, as well as the route as a whole. Um, uh, what are you hearing from your staff on that route? Um, are people, or the, especially those truck drivers or just regular people using that road, uh, is there some frustration uh, creeping in? So far, uh, luckily not. Um, like I said, we had teams on the ground yesterday as well as traffic officials assisting, um, as well as other border officials that aren't uh, connected to the current strike. Um, everyone is working as hard as they can to abate the problem. And I think this is um, being conveyed to the truck drivers that are, have the worst standing um, yesterday. Um, the kind of job they do, they are used to, unfortunately, these situations. Um, it's not the first time I'm sure they've had to wait um, at queues at the border, given that it is a very busy border post. Um, so everything was calm. There was no frustrations um, and everything besides the backlogs ran as smoothly as possible. Uh, what would your advice be to businesses who have to send vehicles on that road and indeed private individuals? Uh, if you're saying Fridays are normally very busy, especially going in, uh, to a weekend where schools are, are back at it next week, would you advise them to think otherwise and to make other plans? Um, there are various options to get into Mozambique. Um, like I said, today it is quiet at this stage. Um, I would advise that they phone our help desk. Um, they have up-to-date information on the situation. So before embarking on your trip um, and as well as during your trip, uh, keep following us on Twitter, uh, track in for toll route, as well as give us a call on 0800 87 2264, and we'll be able to give you an update of the situation. We'll leave it there. That's uh, Solange Suarez Nicholson. Thank you so much for your time. The communications manager for the Trans-African Concessions giving us an, an update on how that SARS strike has affected uh, the Lebombo border post and they there manage the N4 toll route.